Hi everyone, my name is Crystal. I am back for a new video. Hi guys, welcome back. Uh, it's been a hot minute since I last filmed again. What's new? Because um, Yago here is trying to find a new job, going for interviews and everything. It's been a hot mess. Anyway, I don't want to delve in too much into that. I'm going to be doing my makeup with Essence Cosmetics. We are going to be doing my eye makeup. I've done the rest of my face already. I've done my base makeup, my lips, my brows. Oh my god, seeing myself with a full face like foundation but no brows weirds me out a little bit. Uh, so yeah, the Essence at my drugstore actually got, you know, they expanded their range and stuff like that and they carry a wide selection of things. I remember being like 15, 16 going to the little pathetic gondola of Essence at like nearby Watson or something like that. It was so pathetic. I remember watching Jamie Page as well. She recommended a particular eyeshadow palette that was like full of neutrals and everybody was like raving about it because it was like $6 and I'm like, I'm a broke kid. I want to try some makeup. Uh, yeah. I think till today, I, I wouldn't have enjoyed that palette. I didn't enjoy that palette back then either. <laughs> it was just so powdery. It wasn't buttery smooth like what everyone had said. But anyway, today we have a couple of things. So we have an eyeshadow palette here. We have the, the brown edition palette over here. I also picked up some brow products as well. The eyebrow designer and also the make me brow as well. This is actually quite highly raved here in Singapore at least if I'm not wrong. On TikTok especially. And I also have an eyeliner, the easy brush liner over here. I've used a couple of it, not gonna lie. I've used the, the brow pencil because your girl loves you know, to experiment with brow products for some reason. <laughs> oh, and also I have uh, the Lash Goals Mascara as well. This one over here. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Alright, so I brought you in slightly closer to see what's going on on my face. We are going to start off with brows. The Essence Eyebrow Designer in number 2 brown. And they have a little like brush pulley over here. I don't remember exact prices like right off the top of my head. But I believe this was about like three fifty Singapore dollars, so I was like, eh, that's very affordable, especially for like students who want to get into makeup as well. It's really, really affordable. So this is a pencil type of formula, and I'm just gonna slowly bring my uh, the tail of my brow back to the line here as well, and we're just gonna slowly draw it out. Not too bad. It looks rather natural as well. I'm not really sure if I'm a fan of this type of like toothbrush spoolie in a sense. So we're gonna just slowly brush this here. In terms of longevity, I've worn this to the office before and it actually lasts the whole day. The pigment like stays put as well. So I'm actually like rather impressed with it to be very honest. If you want to make your brows look more natural, you can just draw like feather like strokes upwards. And then after that, you can just brush it up. Look at that, my brow looks so much more filled. Like this side over here is like naturally filled as well. Ooh, that looks really good. Also, can I just say, Essence packages their stuff really well. I'm trying to like get the plastic off of this uh, brow over here, but it's not coming off. So I have the Make Me Brow Gel Mascara over here. I believe this is in the number, number four, Ashy Brow. I'm just gonna brush this one up a little bit. I don't like to have my brows like black or dark brown because I feel that my brows are rather thick so I prefer my brows to be just like slightly less like emphasized in a sense. Actually that's a rather strong brow to be very honest like at least on camera right now I think it's a pretty strong brow but I like it. I like it a lot. <laughs> yeah I'm not, I'm not really sure about the brush brushing spoolie like this. I'm not a huge fan of it but it's okay. We can. It's workable that's for sure. I believe the total damage for these two are only about $8 I guess. That's super affordable for some decent good looking brows. I like it a lot. <laughs> I really like this Make Me Brow Mascara because it really like holds my brow up and then you can see the individual hairs are held up as well. Ooh. For eyeshadow primer, I didn't buy an eyeshadow primer from Essence. I totally forgot. So we'll be going in with my typical same Urban Decay eyeshadow priming potion. Right, so for the eyeshadow, we'll be going in with the Essence Brown Edition palette and it looks like this. I actually have swatched a couple of these and they feel pretty decent for... I believe I paid about $8 for this palette. It's a steal, honestly speaking. I like the fact that it goes from quite light to quite dark. And I felt like the dark matte over here, it could have gone just a little bit deeper, a little bit darker. I'm gonna go in with this shade over here. And we're gonna go in and work our way in here. 
to be fair, this transition shade over here, I don't see much on my eyes. They are looking pretty light. I don't see much. Let's go in with this medium brown over here. A little bit not so, not as warm as the one next to it. Oh Jesus, I don't know if you guys can see, but the fallout is kind of a lot. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna put it in. Mm, it's there, but it's not bam pigment, you know? It's quite, it's quite, ra it's rather soft, I would say. Yes, that's the term, soft. It's almost as if like it blended off into nothing, like especially when I laid the pigment down. I'm gonna add a little bit more, I guess. Okay, so you can definitely see that is eyeshadow on my eyes, uh, but it's probably not the most bam in your face pigment, definitely for sure. Shall we go in with the gold shade over here? Rather buttery and smooth actually, but as I was saying, shimmer shadows in general, they are quite easy to formulate. Uh, so it's hard to mess up a shimmer unless it's like a dual chrome or a special like sparkly shade, you know, you know These feel, these feel decent, these feel decent I want to pop this dark metallic uh, brown over here and in, into like the back Ooh, yeah, that looks much better More pigmented as well Probably I laid down the pigment but I'm gonna like blend it out just a little bit Gonna go back in and then pop in just a little bit more of that gold. Pop this medium brown over here, this like reddish brown. I'm gonna pop it underneath my waterline. Now I wonder if this dark matte brown would put any more emphasis on my lash line over here. A little bit, just a little bit. Nothing too like crazy in a sense. I'm gonna pop this shimmer shade over here on my pinky and I'm actually going to put it on the inner corner of my eye over here and over here. I like the inner corner shade a lot that it looks so uh, wet but also shimmery and rather soft at the same time. I really like the shade a lot right here. It's nice. Right, so the eyeliner I got is the Easy Brush Liner over here. Easy Brush Liner and I need to struggle with the packaging again. <laughs> 2,000 years later. This is how the tip looks like over here. It's rather fine to be very honest. There's nothing coming out. Oh my god, I need to shake it. See, I swatched it and it was literally grey. <laughs> eyeliner tip with soft bristles, precise applique. Yeah, I'm not too sure about this. <laughs> Look, this ain't it, sister. What? Is it? What? 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 What's going on? Mm -mm. I don't like it. Oh boy. Okay, that is very sad. I think I just got a bad one. I'm hoping I got a bad one. <laughs> I was looking forward to discovering a new, like, you know, cheap eyeliner, you know, and it didn't work. <laughs> I didn't buy an additional eyeliner or whatever. I think I'm just gonna go in with my this new Japanese eyeliner that I just bought as well. It's a brown one though, so and it's rather light. It's not a very intense brown actually, but yeah. Alright, so my brown baby little wing is on right now, nothing too crazy, just a simple wing. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and curl my lashes and add on mascara. Alright, so I've went ahead and curled my lashes and you can see I have very very short, sparse, barely there, Asian lashes and very straight as well. I'm gonna go in with the Essence Lash Go Mascara, this is waterproof and honestly, the curved curling brush that they show at the back over here looks very promising. Uh, but. When I see this, I'm not, I'm not really sure if I'm gonna like it because the bristles are kind of far apart a little bit, too far apart for comfort, so here we go. Okay, alright, so I have the mascara on at least and this actually looks not too bad to be honest. Um, I don't know, I just have very low expectation for uh, Western mascaras in general, especially on Asian lashes like mine because they usually don't look the best because normally their bristles are pretty far apart and it's hard to catch and comb through each lash. Granted, I feel that this definitely lengthened my lashes by quite a bit, honestly, and I kind of dig the look, uh, but of course, if it had more volume, just a little bit more volume, mm, then I think that would be perfect, but in general, 
This is giving me the same vibes as the Cleo um, Kale Lash, not gonna lie, but for $5 instead and not 18. <laughs> I don't hate it to be very honest. I'm actually pretty pleased with it, but I think the bristles itself, it could have been a little bit, you know, closer to each other. Um, something like the Etude House Curl Fix Mascara, that is a very good like reference, you know. This one, the bristles are slightly closer to one another as compared to this uh, essence one over here. You can see that the bristles on this essence one over here is slightly more further apart as compared to the Etude House one over here. Yeah, I don't. Mm. Ooh, but still, for five dollars, I'm not hating it. Honestly speaking, I'll give it like I don't know, maybe a a six out of ten for first initial application because look, even Lash Paradise did not work for me because of my very very sparse Asian lashes didn't really like add any volume or anything so this whole like, you know, long lashes look, everything I'm I'm actually really really liking it right now wow, okay, okay, I see you Essence <laughs> it's gonna rain <laughs> It's gonna rain! What's new? It's been raining very very heavily in Singapore recently, like almost every single day, my god. Sorry, I'm about to go in with some of the brown shadow over here on a pencil brush, like a pencil tip brush, and I'm just gonna smudge the brown a little bit. I'm gonna add a little bit of mascara on my lower lashes as well. Okay, so I actually applied some mascara on my lower lashes, but I don't think you can see it because it's really barely there. Let me just try it with the Etude House one. Not much was actually caught on my lower lashes because they're so sparse and so short. I... Mm, doesn't really make a difference, unfortunately, for me. <laughs> Alright, so this is the final look. What do you guys think? Do you like it? Hate it? Mm, not really, you know that kind of stuff. I loved some things. I didn't love some other things. I kind of hated some things. Anyway, uh, let's start off with the eyeshadow palette, the star of the show, I guess. The brown edition palette over here. It's not my favorite formula. I have other formulas that I prefer. I definitely prefer much more pigmented shadows at this point of time in my life. But if I was 16 and I wanted to get an eyeshadow palette, this would be it because it's such an affordable price point as well. And the colors for our for you know brown, they are warm browns and on me, warm browns look the best, so yes. The Make Me Brow Eyebrow Gel from Essence, I did like this. It's still holding up my brows really well as well as give a very very like natural like hair stand. Looks really good as well and it's holding it in place. I do like this quite a bit. Eyebrow pencil. Eyebrow pencil, I actually really did like this thing for a beginner wanting to start off, you know, you're gonna start drawing your eyebrow or something like that. This is great. Plus you get a little like brush spoolie over here, but I don't, you know, as a makeup connoisseur, I don't think I dig this toothbrush moment over here. <laughs> It's not for me. I still prefer, if you can, if you can, you can buy disposable spoolie, something like this as well. I like the formula on this as well. It's not too waxy, not too creamy. It's just that nice in between. And like I said, I've worn it to office. It definitely wears throughout the entire day for your 8 to 10 hour office wear. I'm still quite conflicted and about it to be very honest. I do like the fact that it has made my lashes look very long and you know making my Asian lashes look like this it's an achievement honestly speaking. Usually I would normally turn towards uh, Asian mascaras because their formula are more suited for that really straight Asian lash but this western one it's actually not too bad. The teeth of the things is quite dispersed honestly and I'm not sure how I feel about it and because of that it can't really catch a lot of my like example my lower lash uh, lower lashes over here and also the this inner part of my eye over here I felt like there was a little bit of difficulty as well this this can suck ass <laughs> we are just gonna you know what we're gonna do with this we're gonna put that in the bin because that doesn't even deserve a rating because you know it dried out and everything on me it's, it's, a, it's, it's sad but she deserves where to be 
in the trash. So we put that at a zero. I can't give a rating on that. Overall, I'm very, very pleased with today's little mini haul for eye makeup. Uh, if you guys have any like, questions or would you want me to check out some more drugstore products, let me know as well. Granted, drugstore selection here in Singapore something needs to be done we need more options Maybelline why is your shade range so shit in Singapore I just want to know why <laughs> really <laughs> like I kid you not the Maybelline fit me line in Singapore here it's probably like what 8 shades 12 shades max and then like 7 is pink white and very very light in general there's no deeper darker shades the deepest it will go will probably be this shade over here the shade of this cardboard over here it's really sad honestly and I wish they were actually you know just not only Maybelline but just all the other brands like Maybelline L'Oreal um I don't know what other brands Revlon I guess they will bring in more shades but yeah that's a whole topic for another day and also Essence <laughs> Sorry, their Essence foundation is like four shades in Singapore and it's all, I shit you not. <laughs> it's like light, light pink, light, slightly light, slightly darker, but like light and then light medium and like that's it. <laughs> it's honestly quite sad and I wish there were more selection to be very honest, but uh, okay. Anyway, I can always source out from, you know, either online or whatever and I can check it out. Uh, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Do remember to leave a like and subscribe down below. Also to ring the bell. The bell keeps you notified on when I upload. I usually upload on Friday so you can keep a look out for that. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful and I will see you guys really, really soon. Stay safe. Bye-bye. <laughs>